hands with me right now. Look it up there. Oh, <laughs> hello. Did you come to see the show? I'm deaf. Mm -mm. Why would I do that? I'm having so much fun with my boy. Yeah. Yeah. No, the show is not over. The hell it is. Look, all I'm saying is I think you overdoing it a bit with work. You're pregnant, babe. I'm fine. I took a nice long nap. I had a wonderful dinner, and now I needed to come back. Well, can't whatever it is wait until tomorrow? No, I can't. I have a date with Spin. This is not a date. Okay. Just two colleagues having dinner. Well, whatever it is, I'm glad you invited me because I really needed a break. Yeah. Is the station still swamped with reporters? It's crazy. It's like they lived there ever since Greenlee's trial and Scott Chandler's arrest. Oh, I'm glad you got the hell out of there. Me too. Huh? There they are. Oh. Frankie and Randy, I thought it'd be fun to make this a foursome. Couldn't be alone with me, huh? Hey. <laughs> Golly, that is one serious dress, Miss Thing. Thank you. Hey, and what about me? Hey, Frankie. If you want attention, you have to wear the dress, man. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> Is it new? Yeah, it's uh, part of my prep work for Fusion's new marketing campaign. Oh, yeah? What you selling? Love and marriage. You two interested? So you ever take time off work, man? Some call me sick. Nowhere near as exciting as court, though, man. It was intense in there today. Yeah? You should stop by, man. It's nothing like you see on TV. It's... Awesome. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of courtrooms or lawyers. Hi. Hey, did you know? I've been calling you all day. Hi. I'm sorry. I turned off all my phones. I was at the beach house studying, and I didn't want my crazy family to bother me. Hey, bad news about your cousin. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? You don't know. Jared finally got what he wanted. Wait, wait, the party's not over. You, oh, you're still here. I'm not going anywhere. You are just going to dance. Oh, I will be dancing yeah. mm -hmm. oh, for the rest of the night. Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Did I with his fart? It's called confusion, which is so funny because I'm like the queen of confusion. <laughs> Like, if you knew what was going on in my life right now, you don't even know. Where I am in my life is, like, a total mystery to me. So it's, like, confusion. Like, I, that's me. I'm confused. At confusion. <laughs> I, I think you're pretty damn hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah? You guys think so, too? Yeah. You know what? You're right. I am probably the hottest girl you've ever met. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. So, you know who can attest that? This guy right here. He knows how hot I am. Isn't that true? Why don't you come down from there? We'll talk about it. Why do you even care? Oh, I know why you care, because you don't want the news finding out that, that the, the felon, Scott Chandler's wife, was wasted at the bar. I don't care. Right. Right. Yes, then, don't no, say I'm what I'm not going to let you do this. Why do you care? It's none of your business what come I on, do. No. On. You need to get control of yourself. I had control. I had control when I was Mrs. Scott Chandler. I had everything I could ever want, and now it's gone. I've lost everything because I couldn't keep control when I was with you. <sighs> campaign that's centered around Fusion's new perfume. Mm -hmm. It's called I Do. Subtle. Yeah. Now, is there something in the bottle that caps the nerves in guys' legs and makes them drop down to one knee? <gasps> Frank. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Pay them no attention. They're uh, boys. I will. <laughs>
Anyway, it's for brides, brides to be, and I don't know, any woman who's basically in love. So, what do you think? I like it. Sure you do. No, seriously, I do. I mean, we know it takes a long time for guys to work up the nerve to pop that question. Now you just give them the perfume. It takes a little more than that, homie. Okay, then you bring a ring and you say it from the bottom of your heart, will you marry me? Natalia? Hmm? What do you think? To be honest, I, I think it puts a lot of pressure on a woman. You know, with the whole marriage thing. Really? Yeah. I mean, I think Fusion should launch a companion perfume for women not interested in getting married. They should call it, I don't. Wow. Wow, real romantic, aren't you? You know, I would demand to meet this Finn if I didn't think you were joking. No, I wasn't joking. Sven is a lean, mean machine. Now, Jesse, I want you to meet Sven. Surprised? Actually, I'm relieved. Now I don't have to pop a cap in Sven's Swedish ass. <laughs> <laughs> His real name is Spig Ma Manometer, but uh, it's much easier to say Sven, obviously. Yeah, you ain't never lied about that. <laughs> so what does Sven do? Well, why don't I show you? Take off your jacket. <sighs> now, this machine allows a blind person to record blood pressure readings. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, and since I can't read the numbers on the gauge, Sven here chimes in. Cool. Dr. Your systolic pressure is 142. Your diastolic pressure is 92. Well, thank you, Sven. Well, don't thank him yet. Your blood pressure is elevated. It's not. Sven doesn't lie. And it's no wonder. With Greenleaf's trial and Scott Chandler's arrest. Oh, come on. I'm fine. No, my date says you're not. Well, your date has a big mouth. No you know, Swedish accent. All right, you know what, Jesse? This is serious. Now, stress kills, and that is not just a slogan. It's a fact. Now, you need to get that blood pressure down. You need to stop worrying about me. Start thinking about yourself. You're the one that's pregnant. You're the one that has got an amnio scheduled in a few days. I know. And you're not nervous about it, right? No, I told you. I, I just need you. The baby and I will be fine. And so will the baby daddy. Oh, gosh. You know, you are one stubborn man, Jesse Hubbard. Dr. Yes, I am, Angela Hubbard. Dr. Meadow. Oh, excuse me. What's up, oh. Um, Bianca? Yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm here to see a patient who's been in and out of the Miranda Center. I was hoping you could talk to her. Tomorrow would be good. Uh, tonight would be even better. I, I, I promise I won't be too long. All right, then I promise I'll relax. I'll grab a couple of beers for me and Sven. <laughs> good to see you. All right, now, where is this patient? Uh, she is right around the corner here. Okay, uh, mind if I take your arm? Gotcha. So tell me about her. Well, she came to the Miranda Center once before. Oh, 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 are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think, I, I think so. I, I didn't realize you were. I had to get out. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, e no. Everything's okay. Okay. It's no, okay. it isn't. I don't think it'll ever be okay. No, I, I, I've, I've thought that too. Believe me, it, it, it can be. Scott stole technology from Court and Electronics and got busted. No, no, no. Scott wouldn't do something like that. He's a really good guy. Yeah, well, sometimes good guys can fool you. Right, right. I totally forgot. You work for JR. What does that have to do with it? Well, I know JR set this up. He's wanted to get rid of Scott for months. Look, for the record, I had nothing to do with this. I have to go. 
I have to go find Scott and I have to go talk to him. I'll give you a ride. No, no, it's okay. You can't leave Crystal hanging. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get you're, there on my own. You're not driving. Getting behind the wheel all stressed out. Last time I tried that, I ended up in the hospital. I'll drive you. No, thank you. <laughs> Damon's right. I mean, when you're like this, you shouldn't get on the road. I promise to keep my mouth shut. Fine. All right. But we're leaving right now. Let's roll. Thanks, bro. Damn it. Call me when you find out what happens. I'm not leaving here without you. Yeah, then you'll be waiting a long time. Friday, will you get me another drink? Yeah, yeah, whatever you want. Get up! No, leave me alone! Get out of here. No! Hey, the lady said to leave her alone. Come on, let's go. Hey. Betty, why were you running? Because I shouldn't be here. I'm fine. Well, you don't seem fine to me. Her face is all cut and bruised. The doctor said she was brought in here unconscious. Who did this to you? It was an accident. Did somebody hit you? I have to go. No, no, pl please. Look, just, just stay a little while and then talk to us. I've talked to enough doctors. You haven't talked to Angie. I can't. Listen, I, I know that you are afraid. And I don't have to be able to see to feel that kind of fear. I keep trying. I'm sure you do. But please, I need you to tell us who hurt you, who you're afraid of. He doesn't mean to. Your boyfriend? Husband? My husband. He just loses control. And then he promises that... It'll never happen again. But you know that it will, unless you get help. And that is what we're here for, to make sure that he never hurts you again. You don't understand. Yes, I do understand. And I need you to listen to me. You are safe now. Betty, do you hear me? You're safe. I do. It's nice. Nice enough for you to change your mind on the whole marriage thing? See, I remember when we got married, and it was the best day of my life. Isn't that Aww. nice? Mine, too. Yeah, see, but you didn't have that big, splashy wedding we're talking about now. With the flowers, the fancy dress, church, the whole nine. True, but I don't think I could have handled it at the time, babe. I mean, there was so much already changing in my life. I didn't want that spotlight. And what about now? Now I say bring it on. Oh, <laughs> see what a white dress can do for you? <laughs> Seriously. I get to be the bride for everybody in this campaign. I'm not sure if I like the sound of that. True. What I mean is that I I get to have all the fun without any of the pressure, none of the stress. It's every woman's dream, and I get to live it. Hmm. Well, not every woman's dream. <laughs> oh, that is it. Oh, big smile. Yeah. <laughs> Again, and... oh. Beautiful. Yes. Your fiancé is one lucky man. No, I'm the lucky one. Mm. God, he is so smart. He's funny. He's sweet. He's on the force, too. Well, let's get him over here. Hey, groom. Groom, come here. Take a picture with your bride-to-be. Natalia. Huh? What? Would you just go? I was just thinking about work. Um... You know, I don't, I don't really think this is for me. I can't really just commit to one perfume. 